Um, one more hit too. That should take the tower. That combo right there is gonna take it. He doesn't realize it, but that tower is gone. And the French. Hey guys, it's Neon Black Game here, back in the YouTube video. And today, as you can see, I'm gonna show you a really, really, really cool elite barb deck. I've shown you a lot of these, so if you do like them, please tell me in the comments down below, and maybe like if you really enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. Um, I usually don't like to say that, but since these decks are just so awesome, I think I should in this video. But it's gonna be Elite Barbs, Electro is Bowler, Log, Minions, Fireball, Mega, and Skeleton Army. So if you, any, like, replacements, I'd say for Electro Wiz, I guess you could go, um, maybe with Ice Wiz, and then for the Log, probably Zap Spell would be the best. So it's 3.8, it's a Bowler. Uh, Elite Barb's Electro is the core of the deck, the counters. Um, they're pretty much all counters, so you can take out almost any deck with this. The only weakness to it I could see would maybe be a, I guess, I mean, you can shut down Sparky decks easily, Royal Giant easily. Maybe a, uh, maybe, maybe Giant Loon would be the hardest one to shut down. We're gonna go minions here. I, sh I really, I should have put the Electro is on top. Um, that would have been able to easily kill them with its spawn damage. Um, and we're gonna go here with the Mega, and then I think we're gonna go on top. I wish I had my log in rotation, that's kind of sad. Uh, we're definitely gonna, well, you know, this would be a great fireball, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, right there. And then we're gonna go Elite Barbs on the top, boom, boom, like that, beautiful, and we even take out minions. That was sick. Um, and now we're gonna, come on, give me some Elixir for the Elite Barbs. I really wanted the, uh, uh Electro Wiz. I got the log, though. We're all good, and no, no counter. A little bit late on the counter there. Um, we're going to stick with, I, I know the bowler is a little more expensive, but it's a better counter than the Electro is because it cannot be fireballed, um, just in case, and those barbs would do some serious work to the tower if they got there, but level 12 barbs get shredded by my level 5 bowler, by the way, those are one level under max, he's going to go princess, I learned my, I didn't learn my lesson, okay, wait, we're going to get a sweet log right there, come on, log everything back, um, get it out of range so the bowler targets the tower maybe, no it doesn't, but we should be able to take out all that stuff, perfect right there, uh, great counter, fairly simple, we're gonna go quick elite, uh, not elite barb, oh, Electro Wiz, boom, that was sweet, and that should be able to take out those guys and go straight on towards the tower, just what I wanted to see, and two hits, oh, come on, one more, yes, that's great, two hits is around, what, uh, around 600, no, 500 damage, which is beautiful, um, and that's fantastic so far, he's minions coming in the back, we're gonna go with, uh, our own minions here, and then we're gonna go here with elite barb, S save our mega minion, okay, that's, that's gonna go far deep left, uh, boom, man, that was fine, because the tower's gonna take it out, but that was not the prettiest of logs I've seen in a while, come on, Elite Barb, get off one swing, good job, Elite Barb, um, almost two swings there, perfect, though, that, he's forced to zap, but the Mega should get off a swing, yes, oh, almost a swing, here comes the, I don't think Giant's in rotation yet, so we should be fine, we're gonna go Bowler here, just in case he plays anything else, uh, yes, he does, that's gonna be fine, we're gonna go with, uh, Electro Wiz right on the top, boom, um, to take out the Princess, and to get some damage onto the tower, minions are coming in, pretty fast, and he's forced to put a giant down to soak up, oh, is he gonna fireball, does he have a fireball, I don't remember, that's not a good play if I don't remember, um, uh, we'll see in a second, okay, wait for those guys to run so he doesn't get a great fireball, um, now we're gonna go fireball right there, come on, stay in the pack, good job, stay there, stay there, come on, don't move, that was a horrible fireball, um, come on, minion, come on, take that out, take it out, now we're gonna go log right there in the corner, um, for any troops he puts down, plus the princess, and boom, I even catch the giant, the tower should be going down fairly soon, Oh, no, this is bad. He goes minions. We're going to go elite barbs to soak up some damage here. Here comes a goblin barrel. We're going to go here with minions to take him out. You know, that was good defense. I'd say that's a very, very good defensive play. Um, and we can just log fireball to death. He puts a princess so we can get some extra profit. Boom, right there. And that's going to be the tower. And we had plenty of health left, around 2,000. So we are completely fine against a guy with pretty, pretty much the same level cards. So I'm going to get right into another battle in just one second. So, let's get on with the next battle, and who are we going to face? Uh, 4,377 trophies, thumbs up, good luck, and we'll see. So, I'm probably going to stick with an Electro Wiz in the beginning. i got to turn up this brightness a little bit. There we go, that's better. Um, and now we're going to go Electro Wiz in the front, because that should get some extra chip damage if he does not counter it. We got the, oh, he's Balloon Deck. Uh, but he let the Electro Wiz get to the tower alone. That is not a good idea at all. Trust me, you don't want to let that go alone. We're going to go Minions here. Okay, beautiful Fireball right there, taking out all that stuff. Boom, that's how we do it. Keep those minions alive, and that was easy counter right there. Um, that is insane profit, which means I'm going straight in with my elite barbs because he probably has a round zero elixir onto the screen. Um, or he's going to fireball. Oh, no, that was so well played. Oh, no, that was very well played. But we know that he doesn't have a lot of ground defense. We're going to get, if we get the bowler plus elite barbs push, he has zero 
ground defense, except the most likely except the to tombstone up is my guess. He probably has a lava hound, um, maybe elite barbs because everyone's using them. They somehow fit into every single deck. Uh, it's kind of like the mega minion. Um, Ooh, that's not good. He has a giant balloon combo, which is fine, but I should have put the bowler on the other side. Um, but of course, I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, I guess I'll go with Electro Wiz over here. Um, get ready with these two guys right there to counter his balloon. Yep, that's coming. We're just going to go quick Skarmy, uh, quick Skarmy right there just to do some extra damage. Um, he's going to arrow, so we're going to go minions because those are not because those are arrowable, I should say. Uh, we're going to go Fireball here. Come on, take it out. Take out the giant. Yes, that's what I want to see. No, 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 no. He gets one hit on the tower, but look, we're still in the lead by 500 health, which is fine. Uh, once I have my Elite Barbs in rotation, I can easily shred the giant much faster, and I'll be fine. I think we have around equal elixir, but his push costs 9. I put a bowler on one side, which was only 5, so we do have the advantage in that way. He's going to go Tombstone on the left side. I'm going to stick with a bowler on the left side because I can just chip him out with 1,142 health um, left on the tower. Okay, we're going to go Elite Barbs like that. Um... He's, I'm not going to put any fireball stuff in there, like a Electro Wiz, because that's just dangerous. Uh, we're going to go zap. Come on, zap balloon. Zap, 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 zap. No, oh, I missed the zap. That's sad. Um, come on, zap again. Zap, zap, zap. Good. No, 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 no. He fireballs, but look that the elite barbs are going to get to the tower. That's his huge mistake. We're going to go counter push, um, and there we go. This is exactly what you want to see right now. This is beautiful, perfect, um, and now we're going to go a bowler over there, and he's going to be forced to play card very quickly. The second he goes giant loon, I'm just going to push eight nine we're gonna go here just automatically okay get ready with the fireball we're gonna go ready get ready get ready get ready okay we're gonna go okay beautiful fireball right there i should have had it on the screen um a little bit faster but it's all good the elite barb does get it managed to get it hit off onto the tower we're gonna go zap um we're gonna be ready for the freeze balloon over here we're gonna get ready he's gonna fireball okay we're gonna go we're gonna push this other lane um like this so then he's forced to do something else just in case he wants to put a balloon there so then we can easily take it yeah we're gonna be good and we're going to go, he's going to arrow something, and you know, we would have gotten a two crown there, but it's all good. Uh, that's going to be the second battle. I'm debating if I should do a third. Well, you know what, let's just uh, see what we can donate here. Yep, there we go. And you know what, I will get right back with one more quick battle. So hopefully we face a different deck. Um, okay, thumbs up and good luck. I want to face a Hog Rider most likely, just because I want to show you the Electro Wiz versus Hog Rider combo. Um, which is just an awesome combination. Um, well, obviously on defense, it's good. He has the level 9 furnace, which means I will have to counter that with something. Come on, Electro is... Oh, no. Um, the bowler is super good at countering the furnace. I'm not going to let it get any more damage than it has gotten right now. Um, which so I'll put a... Okay, we're going to go log like this, and then we're going to go uh, mega here because he cannot zap that. And good job, minions, to take out the furnace, which is good. The reason I didn't use Skarmy is because a zap could take him out, and I just don't want to risk it right now. They're, they cost the same, too. Um, and he might as well take the safer route um, and just go with the Mega Minion. Okay, hopefully it absorbs the next two. Come on, absorb it. Yes, good job. And that means, um, you know, I will go Bowler here. That Oh, yes, that's perfect timing. Um, and then we're going to go right here behind it is an Electro Wiz. So we can stun them both like that. Boom, and we should be able to take them out. Come on, one more stun. Beautiful. And the Electro Wizard is going to stay alive. Yep, get in front of the Bowler is exactly what we need. We're going to go Elite Barbs of our own. Boom, right there. Oh, no, that's not good. But he does get off a hit, and he does use the log. No, no, come on, log, 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 log. That was a horrible, well, a necessary, but not not the best log. And he is already beating us in chip damage. I'm going to go mega here just because the chip damage is horrible. The furnace, I've said this in tons of videos, the most the most annoying card in the game, hands down. Um, no joke, it, it's just horrible. Um, he's probably going to zap, but no, oh, no damage. That's good, and that's going to take out a wave of fire spirits too. Um, beautiful, just what I wanted to see. Uh, and I guess we're going to go bowler and get ready for some sort of push coming in here pretty soon, um, just in case. Okay, wait for it. No, we're going to go Electro Wiz because it's less expensive. That should counter both waves. Yep, it will. Don't jump, don't jump. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. Uh, I, I don't like that. He shot it, but then he kind of shot nothing. This is why you carry a fireball that's high level, just so you can take that out like this. Boom. Um, get a hit on the tower. Oh, so close. He goes Elite Barbs. So we're going to go a Bowler and Log combo to take all that stuff out. Boom, boom. Um, I like that double log effect. That's nice. Uh, it pushes them doubly far, and we get some chip damage onto the tower. Now we're starting to you know build up a short lead. Um, each trade, we're getting a tiny bit more damage than he is, which is a key to winning Clash Royale. Obviously, you get more damage, you win. Um, that's easy right there, but it's, 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 it's kind of more complicated than you think it is. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a fireball that he's been okay uh good he doesn't catch i guess he lightning something for really no reason we're gonna get ready with a 
uh, elite barb push in a second. We're going to go fireball right there to take out the musky. And then we're going to go elite barbs behind it as he plays something else. Um, we're going to go log everything there. Oh, what a log. That is wonderful right there. Um, and that should do some serious work to the tower. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Get a hit off the tower. Beautiful. Um, one more hit, too. That should take the tower. That combo right there is going to take it. He doesn't realize it, but that tower is gone. Um, and good game right there. Thumbs up. I mean, good luck and well played. Pretty standard Clash Royale game. Nothing too crazy there. Um, but you know what? That's going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments down below. By the way, the Dark Goblin came out. I'm not going to buy it. It doesn't look like the best card yet. Um, but hopefully it does get buffed in the future. So that's going to wrap this up. If you have any questions, please tell me in the comments down below. And I will see you all in the next video.